it's going. And, and as you can see on the screen right there, weather outside at Launch Complex 39 looks very good. We're about a one minute and 50 seconds from launch, and the team's progressing down to get the flight computer uh, ready to take over uh, the launch vehicle. As you see there, Megan, the uh, liquid oxygen being vented out, uh, the plume from the humidity here in Florida. Uh, we get to Ground see that. Uh, uh, looks like it breathes. And we just heard the call out for ground gas closeouts, which is finalizing and venting the ground lines that fill the uh, pressure vessels in the Falcon Heavy so that uh, they're closing off all the ground connections, turning everything over to internal, getting the Falcon Heavy ready for liftoff. And in a few seconds, we will arm the flight termination system, and Falcon will be in startup. Falcon Heavy is in startup. And that means the Falcon Heavy's flight computer is now in control and will guide the rocket through the last seconds before liftoff. SpaceX launch director, go for the launch. All systems are go to send NOAA's GOZU satellite into space to keep a watchful eye over the Western Hemisphere, helping scientists and meteorologists to issue timely warnings and forecasts. T minus 30 seconds. This will be NASA's Launch Services Program's 16th mission for NOAA. Great partnership over the years we've had. Looking forward to this launch. 15 seconds. And here we go. 10, T -minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go, go, you. Liftoff of Goes You, NOAA's new to, newest Vehicle weather satellite to monitor the Earth and Sun in high definition. Engines look nominal. Things looking good as you see uh, the Falcon Heavy uh, soaring towards the heavens. Uh, all 27 engines powerfully lifting goes you on its trajectory and ascent into space. A beautiful shot as we track telemetry nominal. the rocket from the ground here. Rocket is now powering down for Max Q. Max Q is the moment of maximum dynamic pressure on the rocket. Max Q expected at one minute seven seconds. The vehicle is now supersonic. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. Traveling faster than the speed of sound. Max Q. There we heard the call for Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the Falcon Heavy. Vehicle still performs very well, looking all the data looks nominal. A great shot from on board the rocket, looking down on the Earth that it is leaving. <laughs> and all 27 Merlin engines providing 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up at T. Uh, plus two minutes and 28 seconds, the side boosters are going to shut off while the center core will continue on. Wow, what a shot there of, again, all 27 Merlin engines firing off 5.1 million pounds of thrust. The uh, side booster cutoff will be referred to as BECO. We'll hear that call out. And then when the center core shuts off later in flight, we'll hear that called as main engine cutoff or MECO. Side boosters are perform uh, all all boosters are performing nominally. Everything's looking good with the 27 Merlin engines. Side there. booster separation confirmed. There we see Biko and side booster. MVAC chill. Side booster uh, separation. The MVAC is being chilled down, getting ready for ignition. Once the center core. Why uh, and why boost back startup? And there we heard the call out for boost back startup. 
a lot of things happening here. So again, we have the two boosters that are going to be returning to uh, the Cape here, landing at landing zones one and two. These two boosters have three burns, so we're seeing a boost back burn All now. Essentially, are following nominal trajectories. Essentially, these boosters have flipped back and are returning on a path to the Cape here. There will be two more burns, a, a reentry burn and then a landing burn. And these are going to provide quite a show for folks that are here on the Space Coast because you're going to hear those sonic booms, Mick. Yeah, absolutely. We are uh, looking forward to those sonic booms as the side boosters landing, landing zone one and two. Uh, we're about uh, 26 seconds away from main engine cutoff and the center core separating. Once the center core separates, we will then have MVAC, which is the Merlin vacuum engine for space, uh, start start up and get ready for what we call SES-1, number one. Today we have three burns for this mission uh, to get Gojus on its way, and this will be NY the first, back shut down. first of those three burns. PY, boost back shut down. There we hear the two side boosters have uh, boost back shut down. And now we're going to watch confirmed. live footage there. There you go of Miko. Again, the core and that ignition. booster separating from the second stage and the MVAC engine on that second stage lighting up. You see that on the right side of your screen. We're about four seconds from fairing deployment. Fairing again is the two, All the two halves. All to follow nominal trajectories. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we have confirmation the fairing has deployed. Uh, the fairings will, are brand new fairings for the Goju mission, and they will fall back to Earth and be recovered uh, by the recovery ship uh, Doug. But SpaceX will look to uh, reuse those fairings on a future flight, along with the side, bo side boosters. As we see there, they're coming back uh, to Earth to land on landing zone 1 and 2. Uh, so things are progressing very well here. We are about a minute and 23 seconds uh, from uh, what we call the entry burn, where the uh, plus Y and NY uh, booster side boosters will uh, fire up their engines to start slowing down the vehicle as it gets ready for landing. Yeah, a lot to watch. Again, the left side of your screen, we are tracking the boosters that are coming back to the Cape here. On the right side of your screen, that is the MVAC engine on the second stage that continues to burn as it makes its way into the correct orbit to drop off Gozu later today. Stage one FTS is saved. There we hear the autonomous flight termination system was saved as it returns back to Earth, uh, making sure the vehicle is uh, in a proper configuration for landing. The second stage is currently taking Gozu across the Atlantic towards Southern Africa. And this is the first time, actually, a GOES satellite is launching on a Falcon Heavy. Only the second time NASA's Launch Services Program is using a Falcon Heavy. Yeah, we launched our first Falcon Heavy with SpaceX uh, back in October of 23 with the Psyche mission. Uh, and the side boosters, actually, that, that we used on the Psyche mission will be used for our future mission Europa Clipper this October. So brand new hardware today for Gozu and everything looks like it's performing very well. All the telemetry, everything looks nominal for the flight so far today. Yeah, those uh, who typically watch our launch -Y -Y broadcasts. Entry burn startup. There that we heard is... the call out for entry burn startup. The vehicles are slowing. You can imagine this as a um, brake on your car where it starts slowing the uh, uh, boosters back down very quickly. Um, as PYMY they uh, entry burn shut down. And there we hear the shutdown as the boosters have slowed down. Next thing we will see is the landing PY burn. NY FTS is saved. At landing zone one and two. Beautiful All imagery vehicles again. To follow nominal trajectories. From the ground as we track those boosters, make their way back to the Cape. We saw some birds fly <laughs> into the camera's view as hey. well. Everybody wants to see the landing exactly. of the side boosters. <laughs> uh, as we said earlier, Megan, these, the landing will be exciting um, for, for a lot of people to see. Getting uh, two side boosters coming back to landing zone one and two, we will get those sonic booms. Uh, I know that uh, you here in the MDC, we will get some... UI-NY transonic. We will Stage get two the, FTS is saved. We will get some uh, loud uh, shaking right here in the Mission Director Center. I know a lot of people right here in Brevard will be excited when they hear the 
uh, sonic booms. Uh, the EY and my landing burn. Landing burns has started up. Terminal guidance. Wow, look at that. As it guides its way back down. Woo! Just heard the two sonic booms here in the room. The EY and my landing light deploy. Our monitor's that. shaking. That as we watch amazing. these two that boosters is just land. Awesome to see the two side boosters choreograph their way down to landing zone one and two. EYNY landing confirmed. We have successful landing of the two side boosters. Everybody looks great uh, on the on the landing zone one and two as MVAC continues its mission with this uh, first burn. And there we heard the call out for Seco.